In the last two tutorials, I've used GarageBand to put together an advertisement for a radio show. So I'm just going to open my project called Paul's Car Services and I recorded an audio track here at the top and then added some sound loops underneath. And if I pl hit play at the top, I can listen to what I've recorded so far. Welcome to Paul's Car Services. If you need a high quality service for your car, you know the place to come. The best place in town. Need a car service? Get here quickly. Vroom. So, what we're going to explore now is adding in an additional track. And the additional track is going to feature some of my own playing of a musical instrument. So if I click the plus down in the bottom left hand corner, I can choose from range of instruments that we've seen before in GarageBand. Now I am not at all musical, so I'm going to be selecting the drums. I have to choose the acoustic drums. Now I can have a little play around before I actually start to record. And I can play around until I'm happy with what the different musical parts of the drum machine do. Drum kit do, sorry. Um, so as soon as I hit record, it's going to play what I've already recorded and I'll be able to record the additional drum sounds that I want. So here we go. Welcome to Paul's Car Services. If you need a high quality service for your car, you know the place to come. The best place in town. Need a car service? Get here quickly. Vroom. So I've recorded my extra track. To switch back to grid view, if I click the icon up here, I'll be able to move back and see my three tracks, my voice, my electronic synth, and my drum. Now, if I'm not happy with the drum sound that I've recorded, I can delete it all just by pressing the drum kit itself and, ch and choosing delete. You can see it's deleted the whole track. I'm just going to press undo though to get that back. Now that's me just exploring with the drum kit. I could of course add different musical instruments if I was a little bit more musically minded or I could keep practicing with the drums until I get something that I'm happy with. As last time we can also adjust the volume of each of the different tracks and when I finished if I press my songs it will save my work and take me back to the main menu.